Hi, it's, whoop. <laughs> okay. I guess it doesn't do any good for me to plug my earbud in uh, if it's laying on the table. <laughs> so, hi, it's Lynn, and welcome to Empowered and Ageless 5 to Thrive, five minutes, five days a week to start your day off in an empowered way. And today we're talking about honoring the inner intelligence that you have inside of you. And yesterday, if you were watching and I was talking about being in a state of awe, living from a place of awe and inspiration, reverence for everything that's around you, and you may have been wondering, okay, that's great. I'd love to be happier and feel joy in my life all the time, but I also want to make money. I want to have more money. I want abundance in all areas of my life, including financial abundance. Well, it's all tied together. You don't necessarily get one kind of abundance without having abundance increase in every area of your life unless you personally have specific areas where you have blocks that you're not dealing with. And that comes from your belief system and your um, self-confidence and self-esteem that creates those blocks. But naturally, abundance connection to the universe, that connection to everything in your world, then it influences every area of, of your life. So while you're looking at nature with more awe and maybe feeling more responsibility for preserving the planet, at the same time, uh, you'll find that your financial abundance starts to increase. And in the beginning, it might be just little pops here or there, a little bit here, a little sign there, a little sign over here. And you'll see these signs if you're in tune with yourself and you're paying attention and you're looking for signs that say, yes, your abundance is growing, you are shifting, you are changing, things are, are getting better in every area of your life. And uh, this morning, my lesson in Change One Thing, which I will put a link in um, after this video that will show you where you can get your copy of Change One Thing, Change Your Life. And it seriously will change your life. Um, but I just want to read you a little bit part of this. It says, your connection to financial abundance all of a sudden becomes crystal clear. We're talking about when, when you have this connection with your inner intelligence, building on what we talked about yesterday about living from a place of awe. Your relationships will reach new levels of depth and understanding. You could see an increase in the material things you draw into your life and at the same time, a decrease in your need or desire to have them. Isn't that interesting? that just when, um, when you're getting these things that up until now you thought were very important for you to acquire, to have, uh, that it wasn't so much about being and doing, it was more about having. And once you have those things, you realize that, yeah, they're nice, but they're not important to you. So... You can have more of all of those things that give you a rich and full life that allow you to have fun with all your toys, but at the same time, you're not putting importance on those things. You're not valuing those things more than you're valuing the experiences that you have. So that's, that's what I'm talking about when I, when I wrote that. And... Um, you may notice that you are coming up with new creative ideas on a regular basis. That's just another uh, part of, of the unfolding of abundance in your life is, is the more 
reverence you have for everything in your life, the more appreciation and awareness of all the beauty that surrounds you in every way, every single day, the more you live from that place of, of appreciation, it's, it's appreciating the abundance that already exists in your life. And whenever you appreciate what you have, that expands and gets greater. And as that expands, it expands into for your finances, it expands into your relationships, it expands into your creativity. So it doesn't end. And what shows up in your life is based on your values and beliefs. You can be certain shifts are taking place to increase your level of abundance. You will gain self-confidence and find yourself feeling happy for no apparent reason a lot more often. And it's, it's something that you can actually feel in your body. The more you focus on appreciation of what you already have and noticing the little things, noticing the beauty around you, you will start to feel those endorphins percolating in your body. And the more you feel that, the happier you are. And the happier you are, the longer you want to be that happy. So the more you stay in that state of abundance and appreciation, and it's just this constant cycling and up-leveling of your energy and your appreciation and your happiness. So today, what I'd like you to do is notice where a deeper connection to the universe or where you're noticing that you're listening more to that inner intelligence that you have and honoring that inner intelligence that you have. And think for a minute how you're relating differently to the environment around you. And see if that translates into more periods of happiness for no reason over this weekend. And uh, journal about it. If you aren't doing a gratitude journal, that's one of the best things that you can do every day is to write down three things that you're grateful for because that kind of cements in this whole theme that we're talking about. And when you're honoring that inner intelligence, the more, the more you are consciously aware and writing down is a way to do that, more consciously aware of the abundance in your life that you're grateful for, uh, the more it will show up in your life. So watch this process over the next three days. You have three days to work on this one. And I'll see you back here on Monday. Until then, this is Lynn Pierce saying, be ageless. Bye. Okay, the finish button is not finishing. <laughs>